Rainbow Warriors, first pitch and we're underway from Nashville. We saw yesterday with two strikes, trying to battle as much as they can. And he earns that walk. Yeah, open out job of is just prepping all these guys to be ready when their number's called. Nolan picks it up at third, elects to go to first to retire Kaler, who puts Scott in scoring position to begin the first. And he drives one into right field as Scotty Scott will get waved home. The throw from Jones, it will be cut off by Malloy. And Hawaii strikes in the top of the first on an RBI single from Dustin Demeter. And that's exactly how they drew it up. Scott was able to get on. Kaler able to move him over to second base. And a nice little base hit in the four hole. See Demeter on the... The secondary sees that ball through, easily scores. Hawaii, after he's been a head coach, and he's been there for 19 years now. Here's strike three called as Fogel goes down looking. First punch out of the end. Alex Beza sends the 1 0 pitch in the air towards center field. This is Martin charging in, and Martin loses his hat in the process. He'll bring it in for the outs. And as Hawaii picks up an RBI single from Dustin to me, seniors can make a, a decision over Tim Corbin and say, hey, we're gonna we're gonna do some playoff beards. But you gotta you gotta you gotta be winning. If you if you're not you're not playing to the right. Runner goes low for ball four. What an at bat from the ball. Mm -hmm. ba uh, both base runners have reached you get behind in the count and have to deal with a couple of things and I think that's gonna be a balk. We saw a few of those last night actually it's going to move both runners up. Home plate umpire Chuck Pack right on top of it. Noticed it immediately, so this will put Rodriguez on third, Duvall on second. 0-2, swing and a miss for Davenport. Throw down to first by the catcher, Murray. So far, but once those shadows start to get there, it does start to creep in there. Meow flares on a left field, tracked down by Cooper Davis, and Hawaii is set down one, two. We'll head to Greenville, South Carolina. Ground ball to the shortstop. Kaler gobbles it up, slings it to first, and it is not in time. Harrison Ray beats it out. Trying to put the gas pedal on, and there he goes. Check swing, no throw by the catcher, Murray, and Harrison Ray finds himself on second base. It's his fist. Three, two, misses for ball four. That's already the third walk allowed from Davenport. You know, executing some pitches can be a little bit tougher. And did that hit Young? It did. Both runners are going to try to advance the base and both slide in safely. Ray thought about going home, but will be content at third. So Commodores with runners on third and second. Payoff pitch popped up. Shallow left field. Left fielder Bess will make the catch, and Ray is going to bluff a tag home. So Ray stays at third. Jones remains on. And that pitch counts most likely why. Swing nice and a miss. It really was. Davenport, a much needed strikeout. That's his second. The Commodores leave two runners stranded on base for the. Swing and a miss. It's past the catcher, Rodriguez, and streaking to first is Kaler, and he's there. Yeah, that's a tough break there for Schultz. He's trying to protect that throwing hand. There's a second hit of the game for the meter, touching second, digging for third as Kaler. A strong throw by Martin, and it is in there for the third and final out. What a play by Austin Martin. A laser beam at third to get Cole Kaler. A little bit too greedy, trying to go from first to third. Ground ball right side, Meow picks it up, and Vanderbilt is retired. One, two, three for the first time today, and after three completes, Rainbow Wolf drafted and played in the minors. Swing and a miss, got him with a high heat. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Thomas Schultz, his fourth one overall. 
Here's Parker Nolan. He jumps on the first pitch and rolls it to center field for a one-out single. Only the second base hit today for the Commodores. And the fourth hit overall between. That's past the catcher, Murray, trotting down to second easily. It's Parker Nolan. So tying run in scoring position here for Vanderbilt. Two outs in the fourth. One, two, ground ball right side. Meow picks it up over to first in time to retire Spencer Jones. And the Commodores again searching for their first base hit today. Wong, a junior, he's from Hawaii. As the 0-2, he drives in the air, left center field. And a long run for Martin. Can he get to it? It will bounce off of the wall as Wong will touch second and be happy with a two-out stand-up double. The fifth this season for him which is most for Hawaii. A&M and Texas Wesleyan. Ground ball right side. Harrison Ray has it over to first for the third and final out. So Hawaii makes things interesting with a two-out double. In the you are just pitching in some inner squads. I think offensively, you can have a general idea, but it's not until you get into the season that you realize how good you're going to be. What a diving play by Scotty Scott out in right field. He had a ton of room to cover. Scotty Scott. Driven in the air towards right. This ball is fair, and it could be trouble as Kaler with his first hit of the weekend. He will touch second and stop there. A stand-up leadoff double for Hawaii and Kaler here in the six. That was a great piece of hitting by Kaler with the 3-2 count. That was a 93 mile. Hit in the air center field. Martin on the move. He will be underneath and makes the catch and tagging from second to third. Here's Kaler and he will get there in plenty of time. O2 line drive. It's deflected off of Ray in a center field and Hawaii has another run. That ball was scorched. Ray was playing in a little bit, jumps up, and it just ricocheted off his mitt in the center field. And Commodore were playing in, trying to get the, the out at home plate. We see the shadows. I think that had a lot to do with Ray missing that ball. The ball kind of comes right out of the shadows. Ray looked like he, he saw it the last minute, ricocheted off his glove. And he jumps on the first pitch, flips it in the air to right field. Jones is there hugging the line, and he makes the catch for the third and final out. Hawaii scratches it. He make a mistake, and he's got really good power. So I think it's just his versatility is why he's one of the top guys that possibly could go you know, one, two, three in this year's draft. That's in. Pops one up left side. Tyler Best out in left field will be underneath it, and it's an adventure, but he's able to make the catch. Now swing and a miss. Three pitches gets Matt Wonk back to. And now he will bounce one to the shortstop. Kaler plants and fires, and he's not going to get the speedy Harrison Ray. That's the second time today that he's done that. Here goes Ray, pitch misses outside, throw by Murray, it is not in time. Another stolen base for Ray, that's his second one today and his team high six. Hot shot up the middle, that's through as Harrison Ray will get waved home. He's gonna score easily on the RBI single for Cooper Davis. A huge relief for the Commodores erasing the goose egg. And they're turning to those older players. Ray got it started on the hustle single. And then Davis able to fire one right back up the middle as we take a look at the swing. And a fastball on the outside corner. Ray was pretty much three-fourths of the way to third base before that ball left the infield. Here goes the runner, throw down by the catcher, Murray. Tag applied, is it in time? I think the ball trickles out, it does. So Cooper Davis with a second stolen base on the year. I think that could have been in, in scoring position. That's past Murray, streaking to third base. It's Cooper Davis, he's there standing up. So now a tying run 
at third base for the count. So hopefully, can try to elevate something. And, oh, looked like he did, but right to the third baseman, Demeter. That ball was scorched, but Demeter is there to reel it in. Payoff pitch hit in the air, center field. Martin on the run, he can't get to it. It's a one out single for Kaler, his second hit today. Oops. Here goes the runner, throw down by the catcher, Rodriguez, sliding in safely, head first. It's Kaler with his third stolen base on the, on the uh, season. Went with the hard stuff instead. And it works for him, another strikeout. That's his second. A look of disgust on the face of folk. And Morton will drive one to left field. His second single today. Just looks so smooth and comfortable at the plate. Yep, the call, if the call. Martin on the move. That's low. Throw down by Murray. Martin is in there safely, and he's going to try to stretch it to third. Wong's throw. It's not in time, and that will be backed up by the pitcher, Lowen. He didn't catch it cleanly, <laughs> but Martin is there at third. So tying run now 90 feet away for the Commodores. And that's what Martin's going to do. 2-2, two, two. swing and a miss. Lowen fired up as he walks off the mound. His second strikeout, and the Commodores leave the tying run stranded at flu. Then they take on the Oregon Ducks in a four-game series at home. Ground ball to third, knocked down by Nolan. He's going to fire it to first, and the new first baseman, Keegan, has to come off. One, two, there's the first base hit of the season for Hancock, and he extends the frame here for Hawaii in the ninth. Coming off the bench, doing the job. He actually... Runners on the move, three, two, ripped down the right field line and getting waved home. It's Tyler Best, and he will score. There's the insurance run for Hawaii, who now leads three to one. That was a great call. Putting those runners in motion. Knowing that will most likely put that ball in play. It wasn't a terrible pitch by Brown. But Wong. Called strike three. Much needed for Tyler Brown before the Rainbow Warriors in the ninth. They get a run. Scored was three. Swing and a miss. Another strikeout for. He swings at the first pitch and rolls over on one and will ground out to Basil for the second. His first plate appearance this weekend. And he jumps on the first pitch into center field. Wong is there. And Hawaii is able to make things interesting in Nashville as they even the series at one apiece. When